The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? Well, I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. It really Where takes you back, doesn't them? it? Just you and me and Gabe and Mari. Kind of it hurts too much to think about. Even now, it's like I can't get Mari out of my head sometimes. Her voice, how smart she was, how kind. I understand. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He like likes her. You get it? Well, okay, I sort of am. I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. Think their first official date will be target practice? Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Ah, uh, young love. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet. But to feel something that intensely for another person, kind of like the best drug there is. Hey, the falling in love is the easy part. It's the staying in love part that'll really mess you up. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. <sighs> I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. They deserved better than this. Now, you did the best you could, Kate. You kept this family alive as long as you possibly could. It counts for a lot. I hope you know, Javi. Having you there with me, right by my side, all this time... That's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have, but you didn't. I think that's just you know, who I am, you know? Not who I am now, at least. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And there are always a little hot and a little confusing, and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. <laughs> but before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know, whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated, but do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know <laughs> before things get crazy. We might not get another chance. <laughs> no pressure or anything, all right? Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? Really. So are we gonna... Okay. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I just want to be able to tell him in person. It'll feel better that way. It's okay. I told him. Wait, what? We don't have to have the conversation. What exactly did you tell him? that you were done with him, that it was over. 
That wasn't your secret to tell, Javi. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here, now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. We gotta get over there. Now. I'm going to hang back here, with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. Good luck. Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I hate not knowing. Ava could be having problems with the walkie-talkie. Maybe it's out of range, or ran out of batteries or something. Maybe. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? Ready as I'm gonna be. Glad to hear it. the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in... lying to all of you! I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. <laughs> David ordered his brother and the rest of his people to kill our doctor. And they were happy to do it. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless, this cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. I can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. He's kept him safe. I knew Joan was willing to fight dirty, but this is taking it to the next level. We gotta be ready to match her game. I think you're right. Javier! I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Don't make me ask twice. Happy to. Been waiting for this all day. Then I'll try not to disappoint you. We both know you killed Dr. Lingard. Why, Harvey? Why would you do that to us? The only surgeon in a hundred mile radius, but you didn't care about that. You thought he deserved to die. Lingard saw what was happening in Richmond, what you were trying to do, and he didn't want any part of it. He asked me to spare him the sight of all this. You ask me, he's better off. Sorry if I don't take your word for it. Too bad you killed the only man who could back up your story. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend, Eleanor, last night. She was the one who alerted us to David's plot against Lingard. Isn't that right, Eleanor? That's... that's right. She said you were coming here to rally the people against me. Convince them that I was no good for Richmond. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. Considering 
It's all of us against the three of you. But I guess hope springs eternal. And that's exactly what I'm planning to do. Appreciate the honesty, which makes this so much harder. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh no, they had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here, so I'm going to do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Don't! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. Is this the kind of leadership you've got in store for Richmond? Torturing people with your stupid power games? Justice isn't a game, Javi. It's about time you learn that. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? <gasps> Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend? Or your brother's lieutenant? Oh, come on! This is fucking stupid! You can't be serious. God damn you, Jill. Trip has to live. He's invaluable. Son of a bitch. Javi, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're not making David happy. But I respect you for sticking up for your own people. Shoot him. Wait! I said Trip should live! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. You can't do this! Fucking figures. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. You can't... No! No! 